Hello. So, my vlog I was going to do on the same day, I didn't do. I did one, but it wasn't very good, so I, just, I, and I, got, I got sidetracked. But anyway, I'm going to do it on my trip to Berlin, which I did nearly, uh, probably about two weeks ago. Um, maybe three weeks, I can't remember. It's flown by, being back. But I went out to see uh, a uni friend that I studied on my master's course with, and a very good guy. Great catching up with him, seeing where he's up to. He's a singer, a songwriter, so um, I got to I got to see all that. And he's he's working on his EP and hopefully a a long play in the a couple couple of weeks that he's starting uh, re- released on a label. So it's good for him, and it was great catching up and seeing what he's been up to. And I thought I'd go for a few extra days and do some sightseeing. And I didn't stay with him mainly because he had a small flat, so I stayed in a hostel and I had a great time amazing city I never thought it'd be as good as it was to be honest uh, it's not on the top of my list of European cities and I thought well if he's out there and it's good to see him I might as well go but the architecture was just amazing there was so much blend between modern and uh, more classical architecture and stuff from the 1800s with the Prussians and it was great and I saw some of the um, I guess mainstream sightseeing like the Brandenburg Gate, which was a really good walk up from the subway, and uh, the Reichstag building, which is the parliament. And there was a really cool Currywurst stand in between those two. And the the guys there, the Germans, were very, very funny guys. And uh, we were chatting about food, and they were saying they didn't really like fish and chips when they tried that, because it was very similar to Currywurst. But they'd only tried it in Germany. I said, well, you've got to try it in England with mushy peas and you know, gravy, and they were like, mushy peas, because that in German apparently is a translation for uh, a female's body part, private part, and I was just like, right, (laughs) okay, and then they were saying, I was saying about pies, you should try pie if you go up north, because we love our pies, and they were like, I'm going to get a mushy pie, because I love mushy stuff, so (laughs) I love that, I found that hilarious, and the, you know, around there, there's some great stuff, Uh, what the best stuff I did there the KW Institute, which is not far from a hostel, um, had a really good exhibition on. A lot of uh, installations, there's some video ones. There's a great one of these modem uh, wireless routers with like lights coming uh, well to the ceiling, and they were all lighting up in a light installation. I loved that. I thought it was awesome. There's some really good p- pictures. Um, great one of a Gundam. Love Gundams. And some really cool videos there. There was a really good one on um, on Madonna, where she'd taken away her singing voice and replaced it with a really crappy karaoke version. And it was just kind of highlighting how crazy her dance moves are, how sexual they are, how stupid she looks. And I found it, we, there was other people there that were watching it, and we, there was quite a lot of laughs. And <coughs> all in all, it was a really good exhibition. <coughs> but the, I guess the... There was a few t- standard contemporary installations that I just think are boring. And I, after you've looked at it for five seconds, you go, right, okay, I've seen this. I just don't get why they last half an hour. You know, but that's me. Uh, other people find it cool, and that, that's it's all personal taste at the end of the day. Um, after that, what did I do? I mean, Museum Square was a very beautiful architectural, like, just taking in the sights. And I wasn't going to do the National Gallery, but I thought, ah, suck it, I'll go. Because uh, there was a lot of romantic art there. And I was supposed to have seen Tom that night to go climbing. But I, I said, oh, I think I'm going to go check this out. And he was like, yeah, fair enough. You know, you only get to see it once. You can go climbing, whatever. Um, and I spent a lot. I thought I'd spend. I was hoping to spend an hour in there. I spent about three. You know, there, there was a whole uh, room on Casper David Friedrich. And loads of paintings in there. I studied f- and did papers on at uni. Tying in with romantic music. And just actually having a chance to take it in with, you know, the the real the real painting was a very very treasuring experience. And there were paintings in there I just didn't expect. There there was this one on the book here, and this is a really good book, um, Charles Rosen, really good. And seeing that, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, nerdgasm. That was amazing, and there were so many little treasures in there, and great paintings and on German history and the Prussian Empire. And I found it so fascinating, 
And that's the thing about Berlin. There is so much to do. There's too much to do. I'd definitely go back because, you know, I mean, I did a, um, a Third Reich tour, which was amazing. And speaking of that sort of era, there was a really good memorial that the Soviets made. Uh, there's two. There's one near the gate, which is very, you know, cool in, in itself. And then there's one further down in East Germany, Berlin. And it's in the park and it's huge. It, you know, there's a big statue of a... a so This is propaganda at its best. A Soviet, sol, a Soviet soldier carrying a young Berlin child on the day that the Soviets conquered Berlin. And obviously it wasn't like that. The Soviets ran riot and raped everyone and everything as did the British and Americans, but the Soviets, from what I've read and been told, were a bit higher up. But you know, Not that I think the Soviets were the big beasts that Americans make them out to be, but at the same time, you know, it weren't perfect. So that was a, a very breathtaking place to see, and I recommend anyone going to do that. That should be on the top of your list to see that. Um, and then the Third Reich tour I did was amazing. There was a good small group there, about eight people including me and so we had the tour guide to ourselves and it was about four hours and I guess the uh, one of the funniest things happened when we were on this um for me while I was there we went for a, a coffee halfway lunch break and the tour guide was from the Isle of Wight and he was drinking this tall glass which was like a very very milky tea coffee I don't know I was like oh that looks interesting maybe it's a German thing and I said oh what what's that and he turned it round and it said, Earl Grey tea on the tea bag. And I started laughing. And the American next to me went, why are you laughing? And I went, well, put it like this. This is what I drink at home. And he's, I've just asked him what he's drinking. Because <laughs> he was saying, you know, the, the Germans obviously drink herbal teas. And they just don't do uh, tea like we do. So, you know, but you just get on with it. And sometimes you want a cup of tea. And I was like, yeah, I get that. Not that I'm a big tea drinker, but... I think as you get older, especially me, as I've got older, I really enjoy a nice cup of tea. So, but the the third Reich tour was really good. Um, recapping on all of the the history in the war, I didn't re I didn't hadn't read up on, enough on Berlin during that um, the end of the war and seeing it and all the bullet marks and the buildings and Nazi architecture. That was amazing. Um, so as I said there's so much to do and I, I travelled I guess on my own obviously saw my friend quite a lot but that was mainly for food and beer in the evening but um, I'd recommend solo travelling to anyone I'd do it again and I, I met some really cool people in the hostel one from Bosnia who was an awesome guy um, a Pakistan guy who shared the same room as me and he was good fun we went out for a beer one night and um, I was talking about European history and the Vikings and he said to me I thought the Vikings were fiction you know, <laughs> he really didn't seem to know European history, but he was he was there on a business trip, and he was blown away, and then he said, I've got to come to Europe more. And I said, yeah, you should do, because that's the great thing about Europe, there's so much to do. And I would recommend Berlin, if, if it's, it wasn't top of my list, but I would go back, and I'd say to anyone, it's somewhere you should go, because there's so much to see and so much to do. And it was an amazing place. It's really good, and the hostel was good. And the food was very good as well. And the Germans are lovely, lovely people. You know, and I, I really enjoy chatting to Germans and hearing their stories, especially about when the war was up. Um, so, yeah. And, okay. So, I guess that's where I'm going to leave this vlog um, on Berlin's awesome go. So, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad I got this one out of the way because there's a lot to talk about there, but I managed to get it anyway. Yeah, thanks. Bye.